Welcome back, everybody. This morning marks the start of New Center's main mystery series. Yeah, that's when this gal, Katie Baboso, explores <laughs> the legends and places of Maine you may never have heard about, or maybe you have heard about them and mm. always wanted to know more. What do you got this morning, Katie? I got a whole lot to tell you about. <laughs> We're kicking it off in style this week. Maine's wildlife, as many of you know, is vast and unique. But have you ever seen a creature you can't explain? Well, there's a word for the science that sets out to prove or debunk what you saw. And the only museum in the world that highlights it is in Portland. We're kicking off my main mystery series at what I call the epicenter of mystery, the International Cryptozoology Museum. Sea monsters, yetis, even Bigfoot. Creatures of your imagination or the focus in the hunt for the unknown. Cryptozoology, the study of hidden or unknown animals. Lauren Coleman seeks the difference between fantasy and possibly. A seasoned cryptozoologist and director of the world's only international cryptozoology museum located in Portland, it's Lauren's job to uncover the fact and fiction of the animal kingdom's biggest mysteries. We're definitely skeptics. We are open-minded skeptics. We've got this picture of a chupacabra, and I would look at it, and it was a dog with mange, or it was a coyote with mange. He says hundreds of animals that are well known today were once considered mythical or long extinct. The kraken, which is the giant squid, the giant panda. The coelacanth had not been seen for 65 million years. The mountain gorilla that was being pursued was the Bigfoot of its time. Which is why cryptozoologists search for clues to prove that more fantastic beasts are out there or debunk their mystery sightings once and for all. Lauren describes an animal that is the focus of cryptozoology as a cryptid, an animal that is unknown or not yet verified. However, that doesn't always mean Bigfoot, a Yeti, or even the New Jersey Devil. It could mean a report of an animal that is more common, but out of place. All of the yellow ones, which is the most frequently seen creature, are mystery cats. Lauren documents reported sightings of cryptids in Maine from Sasquatch to sea serpents. But he says most of the time he hears reports of mountain lions. The Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife often receives reports of unconfirmed sightings of mountain lions, but officials say the cats have been extinct in New England for decades. Lauren says that's an example of when cryptozoology starts asking questions. He says less than 1% of cryptid sightings can be explained by hoaxes and 80% by misidentifications, leaving nearly 20% unexplained. That's a large unexplainable database and we have to really keep investigating those. And people like Lauren will do just that. It's part of humans to keep searching until we find. Mm -hmm. 